George Harrison puts his 900cc Triumph Thunderbird through its paces under the watchful eye of his motorcycle instructor. He's 62 years old and retired, and he took up biking again only last November, having not ridden a machine for 40 years. Oh, it's so exhilarating when you're riding into the wind and the wind's blowing in your face and uh, the camaraderie amongst other bikers. George and his pal Derek Henshaw, both from Nottingham, are among thousands of bikers in their 50s and 60s now taking to the roads. They've got the time and the money to pursue their hobby. Before they venture out, unless they already possess a license, they must have several hours of basic training on a small machine. It's a little bit unusual teaching somebody of that sort of age because I've got to try to get some sort of respect from them as well. Um, but they do listen, they ask the right questions and they apply themselves and usually they pick things up very, very quickly. George, who passed his test in February, says getting out on a bike makes him feel young again. But it doesn't always work for those around. The first time we turned up at this, uh, this car and there were several young girls in the early 20s sat outside there giving us the eyeball these two guys pulling up on their high powered bikes and uh, the look of disappointment when we raised his visors on the on the helmets and saw these tall fellas there at 62 many people might be looking for a quiet life but not george or derrick or indeed thousands of born-again bikers like them chris mills east midlands today nottingham